Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all well. Thanks for tuning in, in again. Um, today, as you can probably tell by the title, I'm going to do a book review on Love Tanya by Tanya Burr. And I'd just like to start off by saying that um, Tanya herself said a couple of um, in a couple of interviews she's done before that YouTube has kind of brought around a new type of celebrity, and it, they're not your typical celebrities. Um, YouTube stars so this isn't your typical celebrity you know biography talking about scandals and all of that thing this is quite you know um, lovely honest very easy to read I'd say considering someone who like takes a really long time to read a book I read this in under 24 hours it's quite the page channel I thought um, partly because I have been following Tanya for quite a while now um, and I'd say she's one of the first people I ever started watching on YouTube and someone I do admire on YouTube and so it's kind of nice for me to kind of find out a bit more about her but for someone who probably doesn't really know who she is it may not be such a page channel but nevertheless I think it's full of like good advice um, and tips just for anyone and I would definitely recommend this for teenagers well, mainly female teenagers and um, young um, ladies as well. So maybe, I don't know, 20 to 26, I guess. Um, so I'm just going to go through this. Um, here are some things I'd just like to go through. So here are some tabs. Um, and i just like to say from kind of an artistic graphic point of view, um, I really, really like the way this has been done. I know that she told us that she did the front cover on pick monkey i think it's really nice um and i like that it's hardback it's really good quality all the paper in here is such good quality so it is the rrp price is 12.99 but um i got this from amazon pre-ordered and it was i think 11 pounds so i'm just going to go through it and also one thing i do have to say is that i really like the color scheme she's gone for a white um minty blue hot pink and grey colour scheme which is very much her and it's in her YouTube banner as well and um, I think it's really nice and simple it's lovely and the layout of this is kind of like a magazine editorial style thing and she did some photo shoots especially like this is just around the page I've opened there you can see that chapter's on YouTube um so first yeah let's thing get straight I'd like to say is that I love the notes section that she has after um, every kind of chapter she talks about and what is really good about this is that it helps you kind of self-reflect so that's what also is really good about this book it's more than just reading it helps you to self-reflect and better yourself which I really really like and I think it's important um, something else I really did enjoy um, was this kind of section for skincare and with this you can tell that she's actually gone and done some research and she gives you some really good tips like practical tips that you know make sense scientifically about your skin so this has been really good for that and I'm going to be doing a skincare video in the future and I'll definitely be quoting this book I know that for sure the only thing that didn't really apply to me too much was this um, hair chapter but nevertheless I think there are some general um, pieces of advice in here that are good for all um, hair types and all ethnicities it, they just didn't really apply to me because you know my hair's quite short and I like it this way but I think that many people would benefit out of that and another thing is that she did this section on dressing for your body type um, and what was really nice about that is that she seems to be aware of the people who were reading her book and really caters for that so there is so much um, advice in here about that um, as well as you know tidying up your wardrobe trying to stay on trend and she gives some fashion tips see after she's done this section there are always these top 10 tips which are really nice so it's kind of like it's more summarized of what she's talked about in the chapter if you just you know go back and look on quickly if you ever need to so that's been really nice um one thing i would like to pick up on is that in her friend section she said something that i thought was really good um and i'll just read it to you now it's about gossip one of my rules about friendship is to never gossip when you're at school there's so much gossip going on around and people trying to be the first to announce news and it's so easy to get drawn in 
I think it's important to not talk about people when they're not there and to speak out against it. It may take guts, but questioning gossip is a really good thing. That's I that's something I think is really, really good advice, especially for many young girls in school. It's really important not to gossip and not to get caught up in that kind of drama. Um, and another thing I'd like to read you from this book is the quote that you got from Modern Family. I'll just read you um, the kind of end bit. And it's, See, the dreamers need the realists to keep the dreamers from soaring too close to the sun. And the realists, well, without dreamers, they might not ever get off the ground. And this chapter on love that she did um, with Jim, I absolutely love that picture of them. She looks absolutely stunning. It it was so lovely to read about um, the lead up to their relationship and their current relationship and you up to the wedding because they were the first two people I watched on YouTube. I saw Jim on her channel um, and then I went to and subscribed to him so they were the first people I ever subscribed to. And they're such lovely people and they're so cute as well. Um, I also like this section that she did on food and exercise. And she talks about how she wasn't naturally a very sporty person at school, but how it is important to still exercise and there are still some things that you can do despite not being naturally gifted at sports. And she just gives you some really quick and handy tips along the way. And she also has a baking section. And I've made these brownies before. These are gluten-free brownies. They are actually amazing. And they, they were really good. She's got quite the knack for baking and her recipes are really sandproof. I'm usually really bad when it comes to baking. I always do something wrong. But every time I make her recipes, it always goes right. And I've also made these um, cookies. But since I've been gluten free, I can't really have these, but I'll try and find an alternative for them or just you know add in some gluten free flour instead. And um, something else that I really liked was that she named some of the juices that she made after some Disney characters which I thought was so cute so she did a little kind of juice section as well I'm really into juicing so I'll definitely be looking at some of these something else I really liked about her book was this chapter on confidence and happiness and before I even bought the book that was kind of the main kind of thing I wanted to get this book for not necessarily for the autobiographical part, which I do really enjoy and it's lovely to read and I will be reading that part, but the fact that she you know, addresses important issues as she's had anxiety um, and she says that you know it's something that's still ongoing but how she deals with it and I think that's really relevant to um, many of the youth for today because there's a lot of pressure on youth in general and it can be quite stressful and it's understandable how that can kind of boil over and you can get anxious. I do get anxious quite a lot sometimes. I don't think I'd say I have anxiety, but like I do remember when I go to like university interviews and if I get lost, I can get quite panicky. And it's really nice when you know someone stops and asks you if you're okay and tries to help out. So it was really nice to kind of read about that. It's really good for her to address those kind of important things. And getting towards the end, she's got a section on her favourite quotes, and I'll just read you um, some of mine that I like that, from her picks. Success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it. If you're always trying to be normal, you'll never know how amazing you can be, and life is better when you're laughing. We're almost to the end of the book, and this is quite relevant for me at the moment because I've started my YouTube channel and it's really nice for her to have addressed like a whole chapter on YouTube and how YouTube changed her life and she gives tips which I think is really nice of her and she hasn't like really done like a sit down video on it and the last thing I'd like to talk about is her book recommendations. I know she's really quite the bookworm and I'll definitely be trying to pick up some of these. Um, but now I think I'll just go through and show you my favourite pictures. Um, I really like this one. I think it's from the first chapter. I think she looks beautiful. I like this one. All about fashion and things like that. The next one I really like, I already kind of talked about, is this one of her and Jim. I think it's beautiful. She looks so stunning. That like floor length skirt really does a lot for her. I think they're such a cute couple and they really complement each other well. This one is so cute and it just reminds me of um, 
Tanya around Christmas because she's always in her onesie during Vlogmas. And she does like to, you know, cozy up with something. She's not always glammed up, which is really nice to see. And I love this one of her. Her hair looks so nice. And I really like her skirt. I believe it's from Reese, I think. And lastly, this one, which is her reading a book. So, overall, I think this has been a really easy read. It's really honest of her. Um, she opens up quite a lot in this book. I really have enjoyed it. I've never been able to read a book as fast as I have with this one. I read it in under 24 hours. So I got it on the 29th in the evening and I'd finished it by about 6 p.m. the next day. So I'm really, really happy about this book and I'll definitely be going back and looking at this because she's got so many tips like on cleaning out your wardrobe, which I'm planning to do this weekend, skincare tips, you know, just being healthy in general. I think it's just an all-round good book that you can keep going back to. It's not just to read it once, you find out a bit about her and put it down. She's really thought about um, you guys being able to look back and reflect. And as I said, she has these little notes pages, which really helps with self-reflection. And I think that's really important. And it's made me kind of more inspired and made me want to better myself after reading this just because of those little extra things that she's had in it and overall she's really aware of who's going to be reading her book and she's really thought about that so I don't think there's anything else to say let me just check my phone as I read something um but if you haven't picked up this book or you're thinking about it hopefully you do I definitely say this appears to you like teens I think she's an overall she's a decent role model she's someone um I definitely do look up to a little bit. I don't really have people that I put on a pedestal and you know, idolise and worship, but she's really someone who I do admire and she's very classy and timeless. So I will link to her videos about her book below and also where you can get this. So if you were thinking about getting it, hopefully you do. Um, and yeah, thanks for tuning in today. I hope you like this extra video that I did. If you did like it, make sure you click the like button and subscribe. And I'll be having my January favourites going up anytime soon now. And this will definitely feature in it. Even though I did get it towards the end of January. But it doesn't really matter. So thanks for tuning in guys. See you next week. Bye.